Amnesty International is a global movement made up of more than 10 million supporters. <laughs> I'd like to, to uh, ask you to discuss uh, maybe for a couple of minutes about Amnesty International because it was a shock for uh, for Ukraine, uh, this... Uh, this uh, and I would say statement. not for the first time. In 2016, there was a, a report by Human Rights Watch with the same, same, same statements. I, I, I wrote an article uh, when I uh, analyzed that, uh, that statement and the, uh, that, that report. And there was the same statement that Ukrainian forces uses uh, the civilian objects, that are shelling on the civilian objects in, in Donbass and so on and so forth. So it's, it's nothing new. Regarding this statement, I, I like to, two comments. Uh, first, uh, by our foreign uh, minister Kuleba, who said it, that uh, in such a way, the Amnesty International is uh, creating the false balance between Ukraine and, and, and the aggressor and uh, creating the false uh, reality where everyone is uh, a little bit guilty. They don't uh, say that Russian is aggressor, this Russian is... So everything which they are witnessing here, this Amnesty International, <laughs> was caused by Russian aggression. No, they are saying that Ukrainians are using the, 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 the civilian objects, and this is the, the, uh, uh, the, the reason why people in Ukraine are not dying. But not the Russian aggression and, and not Russian uh, shelling and destroying the, the whole territory of Ukraine. And the second one is the statement by one of Ukrainian analysts who said that this uh, uh, this uh, report of the Amnesty International is like, uh, well, Ukraine, you, you have to commit a suicide. You have to commit a suicide and everything will be okay. And for Russians and for, for the rest of the world. So commit a suicide. And then we'll, we'll not be casualties uh, from the civilian side and so on and so forth. But again, we'll not commit the suicide. We'll continue fighting. The Russians continue killing Russian soldiers and destroying the Putin's plans. Absolutely. Uh, Volodymyr, would like to? Yeah. Okay. Yes, I, I'd like to uh, bring your attention to the response of uh, Chairman and General Secretary of Amnesty International, Agnes Komar. I, I will bring a quote of her tweet. Ukrainian and Russian social media mobs and trolls, they are all in, uh, in today attacking Amnesty investigations. This is called war propaganda, disinformation, misinformation. This won't dent our impartiality and won't change the facts. So I think that... Uh, chairmanship of this organization even do not understand how they uh, manipulated with uh, information. And what is interesting about the, this particular tweet is uh, that uh, Ukrainian branch of Amnesty International said that uh, their points uh, on this publication were just whipped out. That means that uh, Agnes Kalmarad names Ukrainian branch of Amnesty International as a mobs or trolls. In this uh, particular case of this uh, Amnesty International publication, we are witnessing uh, what are the con consequences when uh, some uh, some journalists uh, cover a situation without a clear understanding of how warfare works and uh, without understanding of uh, nature of the war. And uh, I fully agree with you guys that uh, if Ukraine, Ukrainian troops will uh, leave uh, cities and villages, that will uh, bring our war to, uh, to an end because uh, Russians will uh, capture these uh, cities, these strongholds of Ukrainian forces. And th th that is how modern warfare doesn't, doesn't work. If Ukraine, Ukrainian troops will follow the tactics recommended by Amnesty International, the Ukrainian armed forces will be fully wasted. And God, uh, God save us. God I, save I think us that, us that, that is uh, more not about uh, uh, paid uh, publications, uh, paid pu publications by Russians, because uh, if we follow this particular publication, uh, there are m statements about. Uh, Russian war, war crimes as well, but it is more yeah, that, about yes, the, but, uh, this misunderstanding is, but this of, is, of the nature of the warfare. But this, this is, is how this the is, psychological operations are being done. Are being, are being of course, 
Vladimir, do not be naive. Uh, <laughs> the uh, the uh, Amnesty International, very experienced organization. They yes. understood everything. They understood everything. And, and yeah, but you said something about misunderstanding. I totally agree with Mikhailo. They absolutely. Understood. It's a pace. It's, 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 it's a money. It's a big money. And uh, when she called uh, Mr. It made Kuleba, on purpose. It made on purpose. Yeah, she she called Mr. Kuleba, a Ukrainian MFA, as a troll, attacking Amnesty yeah. International. Yes. Like a virgin, virgin uh, uh, Amnesty International. I cannot believe this uh, this theater. You know, it's it's a theater, bad theater, and I think they they got a lot of money, and uh, I am sure that we will find uh, this information very soon. There was a statement by the Ukrainian branch of uh, Amnesty International, and uh, the, 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 the chairman of the Ukrainian branch said that uh, they wanted uh, to, to include our Ukrainian uh, conclusions in this report, but they, uh, the, the, the main office refused and said no. Then they tried to, to block the publishing of this, uh, to prevent publishing this uh, report. And they also, uh, the, the, the main office uh, didn't want to listen to, to, to Ukrainian branch. Ukrainian branch suggested the main office to uh, ask for a comment for Ukrainian MOD. I don't know if they did, did so or, or didn't, but uh, at the moment of the publishing, there was no response from the, from the MOD. So it's totally, uh biased uh, report and, but, and to be honest just just one word uh, okay you are right you are writing about uh, ukraine using U ukrainian troops uh, using civilian objects and so on and so forth where's the uh, the same portion of information of or analysis about russian forces yeah why they didn't publish some investigation in kiev oblast in Irpin bucha uh, yes <laughs> Yes. And then, for example, on, on liberated Kiev, territories. Right? Yeah, right? yeah. The Kiev, for example, where territorial defense acting inside yeah. of the Kiev, but this is this is the nature of territorial defense. This is local people living here. They serve in territorial defense. Of course, they will use streets and objects of of the city. And actually, this Ukraine is, is this the is war, the war. The war goes the war waged in in the fields, in the forest, and in the cities. Of course, it's the war. So you cannot avoid. So even there are circumstances when the uh, enemy pushes, pushing you back to the city or into the city. And you are, for example, like Azov, uh, like there were battle in Mariupol, that they were closed, locked in the city. So what they had have had to do? Go to Amnesty International. Go to Amnesty water. International. Or go out of the city say, oh, we are here, kill us. And that's it. And they, of course, there will be no uh, casualties among the... the and uh, to conclude this the to conclude this topic, the Amnesty International so, tried to amnesty Russian uh, 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 aggressor. This is uh, absolutely right. clear. That's right. Am amnesty for whom? Amnesty for whom? For Russians. Thank you, Amnesty International, for this uh, great uh, psychological operation. Subscribe here to receive more videos from the new Geopolitics Research Network.